So scoliosis is a sideward curvature of the spine, which also comes with a rotation, which we will discuss in another video. But today we're going to talk about the convex side versus the concave side of the curve. So I've made a little drawing here to demonstrate what I mean by the concave and the convex side here. And we're looking at this from the back. So imagine you're looking at someone from the back and the, the area where the curve is going towards is called the convex side. The area on the other side is called the concave side. So I think of it as concave, like a cave, like the sunken in area usually of the scoliosis. And maybe what we can imagine here is that everything on the concave side is kind of a little bit compressed and it's short. And on the convex side, the muscles, connective tissue, they're long and they're spread out. And you can even see this if you look at an x-ray um, of people, you can see on one side, the rib cage, the ribs are slightly further apart. Um, everything is kind of spread out. And then on the concave side, everything is a little bit more compressed. So what does that mean for our yoga practice? And what does that mean for your yoga student maybe? It simply means that the one side of the body might behave quite differently to the other. So usually it's the convex side, which um, to a student with scoliosis feels quite tight. It feels quite achy. Um, and then the concave side usually feels as if there is nothing there. It feels like they're, it feels weak. It feels as if they're lacking um, sensations in this area. So what we can do as teachers is we help them maybe slightly address the sides differently. One side might need a little bit more space. So thinking about lengthening, thinking about creating space. The other side, if there is pain, we're obviously looking to release first of all, um, but then we're looking kind of to shorten and contract this area a little bit more. Another very simple way of addressing this could be with some breathing awareness, breathing practice. For example, just bringing the hands around the rib cage. If this is where kind of the, um, the main um, curvature is, the, the main asymmetry and simply allowing your student to experience what it feels like to breathe into one side of the body and then breathing into the other side. And there might be one side where they have less sensations, um, where it feels like the breath isn't quite um, expanding as much. So obviously that's the area you want to focus on a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a yoga or Pilates teacher and you would like to dive a little bit deeper into the topic, please check out my upcoming workshop. You will find it all in the description below.